and family. <coughs> Man, <coughs> I've done this like three times already, this intro. I'm going to an ENT tomorrow. My asthma has been really bad lately and like I could keep getting this like tickling feeling in my throat and uh, it's just been a mess. So I go on ENT tomorrow, but I keep coughing. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I created this door shelf using Dollar Tree products. I've always wanted a decorative door. I've seen them in people's homes before. Sometimes they even have like the sliding doors and they don't go anywhere. The door doesn't lead anywhere. It's just decoration and it's much bigger than this. But I always wanted like a decorative door. So I used Dollar Tree products to come up with this. And remember, you can always add things or take away things to suit your budget. You know, you don't have to put the picture frames like I did. You can take away that to make it less expensive to make. And you don't have to make this with just Dollar Tree products. You can go out and buy like a bigger piece of wood and cut it all down. It's just what is your skill level? What is your budget? Um, what can you do? Nonetheless, I really hope this inspires you guys. I love this thing. I wish it was a little bit taller, but I ran out of the little like long plaques from Dollar Tree, the white ones, and I didn't feel like painting the black ones white, so I came up with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. Last week I made a fruit basket shelf type of thing using the plaques, and you guys loved it, and you got that video to almost 10,000 thumbs up. So let's see if we can repeat it with this video. I love this thing so so much. Also make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel if you're not and hit the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said let's begin the tutorial. So the main base of this door is the long tabletop plaques from Dollar Tree. I had to order mine online just because my local Dollar Tree didn't carry any. I ordered them online. It only came with 12 white ones and 12 black ones. For the cheapest version of this door, you can get away with 14 of them. I recommend 15. I personally used 16 of them. So I had to go to a Dollar Tree to get four more. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your plaques and you are going to lay them out to get the base of the door, get an idea of how you want it to be. So basically what I did was make a big rectangle using six of them. And then at the bottom, I filled that part in with more of the plaques. And then the top, I just had one plaque going through the top middle portion of it. Now to attach all of these, I am going to be using a staple gun and I highly recommend this. It is so much easier. I've talked about it in the past. I don't know how many videos I've been using it. It's so much easier to use than sitting there waiting for your wood glue to dry or trying to use hot glue. It has been a life changer for me. When I initially laid out all my plaques, I did it so that where the wording was was face down and then I realized, wait, I have to staple it the other way because you won't be able to see where all the words are that would be the back of it so I want the staples to go there so you can't see all the staples so I had to flip over all the plaques again and then I started to staple it all together and what I did was I started at the bottom first and I just put one staple wherever two table plaques met or you know three met but just one staple until I had that entire bottom attached and then I added more staples. I did it one staple initially so that they wouldn't keep moving around um, and like just messing up. I know absolutely nothing about tools and I know how to use this staple gun. So yes, it is really easy to do. I really do recommend. You know what's kind of funny? I have to keep zooming all the footage in because my butt crack was showing. Girl, do you know how much it sucks to film something and you're like, oh, it's coming out really good. And then you go to edit it and all you see is your butt or lack thereof, but I mean, still a crack. So I have to like zoom into all the footage so you don't see my butt crack. Where two of the plaques meet vertically, highly recommend that you staple in those areas too. Try to staple, honestly, in any possible area that you can until it's sturdy enough for you and then flip it over. After I flip it over, I start to remove the stickers. So the last time I used something like this, people were telling me that I could use a hair dryer. I don't own a hair dryer, so that's not really an option for me, but the Goo Gone works perfectly fine for me. So I'm good with using Goo Gone. I've heard that you can use soap and water, which I've done before, but I just not a big fan of using it on things that are almost like a wood surface because then I get stuck waiting for it to dry. Now this next part is optional, but if you plan on doing it, you want to take your picture frames now. So Dollar Tree carries five by seven picture frames. That's the height I recommend going with. These are two different versions and obviously you want 
and remove the contents in the picture frame and then just leave the glass that is inside of it. I ended up using the first picture frame that I showed you, but to kind of get an idea of how I wanted everything to be placed, I was using the second picture frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plaque in the middle of the door. But before I glue that on, I want to make sure that I have the picture frames laid out how I want them to be because I don't want to glue that plaque on and realize that there's like a gap between the picture frames and the plaques. After I get an idea of how the frames would be laid out, I then glue on that plaque using wood glue. This one was harder to staple, so that's why I didn't staple it on and I just used wood glue. It wasn't wide enough. To be stapled on the sides and the wood glue worked perfectly fine. Now for the doorknob, you gotta get creative using Dollar Tree products. I'm gonna be using a candle. I chose a candle that kind of reminded me of a doorknob. This is an ocean mist candle. Remove the tag that's at the bottom and if yours has twine, remove the twine and then you can paint it. The paint I'm using was 59 cents from Walmart. It is this dolphin gray acrylic paint by Apple Barrel. Dollar Tree doesn't carry doorknobs, so you have to get creative. I just saw though Dollar Tree has some metal signs in that look like metal signs that go over your door and now I'm jealous that I don't have it because it would look so good on my door. Doorknob all painted and it's dry. I then glue it onto the plaque and I used E6000 to do this. Actually this one was Gorilla Glue, but you get the gist. Depending on your budget, you can leave the door just like this and that's $16 in Dollar Tree products, which I think is a good price for something like this. But I wanted to add more. The next thing I'm going to be adding are rulers. I got the rulers from Dollar Tree. There's two in a pack. So I got two packs and I painted them with that dolphin gray color. Now I'm going to be using this to create an X at the bottom of the door so it kind of looks like a barn door. I ended up grabbing a scissor and cutting off the little circle part of each ruler. Scissors worked fine for me, cut slowly and the wood shouldn't split on the side that you're trying to keep. Forgot to mention where the inches are on the ruler, you can take that off. It's like a sticker and I recommend just removing them. Now what I do is I take the rulers and lay them out how I want them to be and then I glue them down using my wood glue. You could staple them if you want to. I just didn't want to because I don't want the staples showing at the front of my door. And again, you can leave the door just like this and this would be $18 worth of Dollar Tree products. There's different things you can do. You can make the door smaller on top of that if you wanted it to be even less than the original $16 one. Now this is how I did mine. I took another plaque and I added wood glue and I placed that above the plaque that's in the middle of the door that has the doorknob on it. I really, really, really wanted to put two plaques there to make a shelf that was bigger, but I couldn't find another Dollar Tree near me that had more of the white plaques. I kept running into the black plaques. Obviously, you can paint the plaques that are black white, but I wasn't about that life. So now I'm going to be adding on the picture frames. Obviously, you don't have to do this. You can leave it now with just that shelf and right there it's $19, but I want picture frames. So I lay them out, figure out how it's going to be placed on those plaques. And then I add E6000 and honestly, I was adding the E6000 around the edging, the inside edging where the plaques are because not much of the picture frame actually touches the plaque. If you get glue on spots you don't want it to be on, I recommend removing it right away because it's easier to remove while it's still wet. And I do want to mention this. When I say $16, $17, $18, whatever, I'm referring to how much it costs in Dollar Tree products. Obviously, it's going to cost more because you're going to have to get glue if you don't have it, paint. But with any crafting project, most of the time, you're going to have leftover of a product. So if you get wood glue, you can use it in so many other more crafts because you're going to use barely any here. If you get super glue, E6000, Gorilla Glue. You're going to use a little bit in this project and have a bunch left over for other projects. So yes, it might cost you more depending if you don't have these supplies at your house, but you are going to be able to use those items for other projects in the future. So for me personally, when I say this thing cost me like $18, $17, that, that is what it cost me to make because the, everything else I already had on hand and I had left over from other projects. One more thing I can't believe I haven't mentioned yet, you don't have to use a stapler gun. I just recommend it. You could use wood glue. You can use a super glue, Gorilla Glue, E6000 to attach all the plaques together. I just recommend using the stapler gun 
Now the final thing I did was add some of that dolphin gray paint to my picture frames. I actually had one picture frame that wasn't the same color as the other three. So to kind of blend them all together, I added that gray paint. And it also helped blend that top portion with the rest of the door. Just used a paintbrush, and if I put too much paint in one spot, I made sure I used my finger right away to rub it all out. If you end up doing a white door like I did, obviously you can go over the lettering that's on the plaques with white paint to make the entire door, including the back of it, white. I don't care enough, nobody's gonna see the back of my door, nobody's gonna see that bottom shelf, so I didn't paint it. Out of sight, out of mind. I ended up putting a wreath on my door using a command strip, and then on the little shelf, I had to put smaller items just because my shelf wasn't big enough, so I just put a little S that I had, and then a small little vase with some lavender flowers from Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and remember, you can always make this smaller, do different things to it so that it suits your budget. It doesn't have to be exactly what I paid for it. And if you want it to be bigger, you can go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.